Buffalo Strong, a community united. That is what we are. Good morning, I'm Melanie Camp. And I'm Emily Lampa. There are no words for what we are all going through at this time, but we do know this. We are here for one another. It has been really tough for the whole community and especially for the families of the Jefferson 10. And I have to say, just walking around Buffalo, driving around our streets, there is such a solemn feeling. I really, I want to say that. Like, I want to say we're strong. We're getting through it. We're gonna, we're gonna get through it. But yes. I think right now we really are in a time of grieving and mourning. And you know what? That's okay. It's okay for sure. And there is a sense of fear and warranted fear for sure. And we should be able to know that even though we feel sometimes like we're troubling people, to be able to ask for help and support. That is not a trouble because we are all dealing with this together. So if you are ever in that spot where you're starting to feel the fear or the hurt or the grief overwhelm you, know that there are services available and we will provide you with those services yeah. in this show today. We're sharing so. all of the resources that are out there for you. And you know, we're talking, this is a safe space to talk. And I think that even if you just, you feel like you're removed from what happened, but you're just feeling a little icky, that's normal too. Yeah. And you know what the beautiful thing is, is is you get through these moments and that's what it's all about. But it is also about honoring where we are right now. And um, this morning, you know, we really do want to bring some comfort. We do. We're really grateful to be able to offer that to our local communities. And we've heard it several times yesterday and today from the families of the victims, how genuine, how authentic, how compassionate President Joe Biden and the First Lady were when they all met stepping in with us this morning. Oh yeah, yes. we have Mercedes Wilson mm -hmm. because we love Mercedes and she is part of our AM Buffalo family. She's with Bishop Badger, one of our local leaders who was part of that moment with the president, the first lady and the families. Mercedes. Yes, thank you, Mel and Emily and Bishop Badger from Bethesda World Harvest International Church. Bishop, thank you for joining us this morning. Well, thank you for having me. It's a um, pleasure. Uh, Bishop, I want to start with asking, how is our community? How is our community? Our community is hurting, mm -hmm. but our community is strong. Yeah. And our community will come out of this, I believe, better. Yeah. Um, what are you hearing? What are you seeing? You are out in the community, one of the staples, one of the pillars in our community. What are you hearing? I'm hearing a lot of uh, sadness. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing a lot of anger. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing a lot of frustration because I think the community, and, and, and I'm sure our nation feels like, we, we've seen this movie too many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, and I think our community feels that. Mm -hmm. uh, President Joe Biden yes. was in town yesterday yes. and you had the honor of being in the room. Yes. Can you take us there with you yesterday? What did you hear? What did you feel? Take us there with you. Well, it was interesting when, when I had an opportunity to uh, talk with him because he, the, the small group that, was, that met with him, uh, when he got to me, um, first of all, I thanked him for coming. Mm -hmm. um, but he, he shared with me, he said, you know, I, I went to the Catholic Church uh, for in, the, in the morning for an hour, but he said, then I went to the black church. Mm -hmm. And so he says, you know, I was raised in the black church, which I had never heard before. Me neither. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and you could feel um, just in the conversation, uh, his warmness. Uh, you could feel that he was sincere yeah. about the pain that he felt for our community. I think for him to, and I, my understanding, he's, he was on his way overseas to stop in Buffalo to say this is important uh, as the president of the United States to go and let the people of Buffalo know that the United States and as president, I care. Was it? It was important. Yeah, I <clears throat> saw um, on social media one of the families. She did a selfie mm -hmm. with uh, Joe Biden, yeah. First Lady Joe Biden, and she said, "Just you being here gives yes. us hope." Yes. Can you talk about the hope that was in the room? Yeah, um, I, I think you know. Once again, just the fact that the president came d does make us hopeful. We can, you know, he's the most powerful man in the world, mm -hmm. and so to come to Buffalo uh, definitely gives hope, but I think in that hope there is also a sense of caution because we mm -hmm. know that you still have a Congress, mm -hmm. you still have a Senate, 
and he can only do so much from the executive office. Yeah. So we 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 need those congressmen, those senators to make a different decision than what we've been having okay. uh, with this um, this deadlock that we have yeah. when it comes to, to reasonable gun control. Yeah, and then Bishop, before we go, I want you to talk about your event briefly because you had an event in the community yesterday. Yeah, talk we, about that. We, we went out, um, we were right across the street and we gave out um, undergarments, we gave out uh, food and and um, we we pray for people. Yeah. We hug people. Yeah. You know, um, Jay, Jay Hunter, who is from Buffalo, who, yeah. who's an actor, came in town just to be a part of it, and he he gave out yeah. uh, clothing yeah. and and you know one of the things that really struck me is there was a a lady that was looking over at the top supermarket and just crying. Yeah. And and someone motioned to me to go over, and I went over and I hugged her. And I just pray for, and to see, you know, uh, just God's peace come over yeah. was, was important. Bishop, yeah. thank you. Thank you for what you do in our community. Well, thank you for it. Thank you so you. much. Yes. And as our community continues to heal, we want to share some important numbers with you. Crisis Services Hotline, 716-834-3131. And Spectrum Cares, 716-882-45. 4357, 24-7 crisis response for families, youth, 17 years and younger. We will be right back with more. Thank you so much.